Hello there. Today we are going to be taking a look at the five must-have weapons in Fallout 76 that any player should be using and getting at some point in their playthrough. I've also made sure this list doesn't include any weapons that require you to grind daily ops or expeditions for plans and stamps. Don't need to worry about faction rep and gold bullion. These are all simple to get. They can be found easily in the world or they can be bought with caps. And if you use all of these or main any of them, then let me know down in the comments as well. But let's get into things. First up, we'll kick things off with the fixer. Now this weapon does meet my requirements. It's got nothing to do with daily ops or expeditions or faction rep, etc. And especially nowadays, it's much easier to get a hold of than it was in the past. Of course, the main way is to get the plan to drop for you from the encrypted event, but the fixer is a tradable weapon and it's extremely popular. So you can find it in a lot of player vendors, even just non-legendary versions, some players will sell, people can drop them for you. So even if you just go onto some of the forums or discords and ask anyone nicely, if they can craft you a fixer, you can even give them the components needed for the craft. Plenty of players do that. 76 is a wholesome community, so it's pretty easy to get your hands on a fixer. And why is it so popular? Because it's just the best commando option out there. I myself love the handmaid, and if you're mainly a non-vats user, then the argument for going with the handmaid instead is a pretty strong one, but the fixer is just the top dog. Comes with a bunch of intrinsic effects, such as improved stealth in shadows, faster movement speed while sneaking, although if you have the speed demon mutation, then this particular effect is irrelevant. And it also has 20% extra damage built in as well. So it's kind of hard to argue against the fixer. I'd love for a balance overhaul to the weapon system in 76. So it changes up the meta and all that. But for now, the fixer is the king for the commandos out there. For your legendary effects, I'm always an advocate for bloodied and anti-armor. Vampires and quad are excellent choices as well. All depends on your playstyle, of course, and what you like having as quality of life improvements overall. For new players, you can start using the fixer from level 20. So pretty early on in your playthrough, the fixer can start helping you out. But on to the next we go and also just give this video a like if you're enjoying and absolutely decimate that subscribe button. But next up we have the minigun. Now I know, I know, a lot of the veteran players out there are going, what you idiot, that's a crap weapon. Ah, but, but, you know my channel, you know where I'm going with this. And I do love the unique options out there in 76 and if you're a new player, you're definitely going to want to pay attention to this one. So the minigun, yes has a high rate of fire, but low damage. But we don't care about that, we care about a particular mod for it. And that is gonna be the Shredder mod. Now, here's the beauty of the minigun Shredder. Insanely high damage, doesn't clog up your perk card slots, never have to worry about ammunition as it just uses AP to attack instead, and you can start using it from level 35. It's just beautiful, it's a chef's kiss of a weapon. Oh, and if you get a vampire's roll on it, you don't have to worry about healing either. Also on the note of legendary rolls, for your first star, go with anti-armor or vampires. The rest don't work with the shredder, as much as people like to think that they do, they don't. And for the second star, bashing damage increased by 50%. That's all you gotta worry about. If you've never tried a new playthrough of 76 while using this from level 35, it is so much easier. It is a breeze. From low levels to the end game, the shredder holds its own. It is ridiculous. I've got thousands of hours in 76. Never thought that would have happened when this game released, but a vast majority of them is with the shredder because it's just that damn good. You can find plenty of miniguns around Appalachia. Super mutants can drop them as well, so it's not hard to find them. And sticking to the heavy gun side of things, the next up is the flamer. Now the flamer serves a lot of different purposes. Firstly, as a heavy gun, it's extremely powerful. And in the latest test server, the range is feeling absolutely amazing on it. And there's a really cool version coming, but I won't spoil things here since this is not a PTS video. But with a lot of events nowadays and even other activities like expeditions, the flamer is a great quality of life tool because with the friendly fire per card over in Charisma, you can heal NPCs. So for any events or activities where you need to protect an NPC, you can just flame them and they heal up nicely. So it's very, very useful in that regard. Of course, the friendly fire perk also works on your teammates, but they can look after themselves. This is for NPCs, but overall, extremely powerful, very useful for events and activities, and you can find it around Appalachia as well. You can buy the plans from some of the vendors, so it's pretty easy to get a hold of. And for any low-level players, you can start using it from level 30. Moving over to melee, we have the chainsaw. Now the chainsaw used to be just straight up terrible. Couldn't drop as a legendary, it was maxed out at level 20. Didn't work with the perk cards it was supposed to, but oh how times have changed. Now the chainsaw, much like the shredder, 
is amazing to use. Easy to find the chainsaw around Appalachia. I have a video about that. If you're interested, I'll leave that in the description. Uh, the mods, you can buy some of them from the train station vendors around the map. It works with all of the legendary effects. So vampires here as well, like the Shredder, you won't have to worry about healing. Bloodied, anti-armor, great for damage. And because it's an automatic melee weapon, it's considered to always be power attacking because it uses AP to attack, much like the Shredder does. So for your second legendary star, keep an eye out for 40% more power attack damage. Very, very nice. The chainsaw is just an awesome option and very fitting in the apocalypse setting. And of course, you can start using it from level 20. So very early on in your playthrough. And last but not least, we have a rifleman option, and that is going to be the Gauss Rifle. Extremely powerful weapon, especially if you love your one-shot kill builds. The Gauss Rifle hits really hard. Because it does hit really hard, it's very efficient on its ammo usage. You can stealth with it, you can go loud with it, your choice. You can find them around Appalachia. But you can also buy the plan from the Brotherhood vendor over in the White Springs Mall area. Vendor Bot Phoenix over in Watoga will have it, and Modus also has it at the Enclave Bunker. So pretty easy to get your hands on the Gauss rifles. Now it is a Gauss weapon, so do keep in mind that you need to charge the shots fully before you fire if you want to get that maximum damage out of it. So don't forget that, but it is awesome to use. It looks cool. You can start using it from level 35, and if you've never tried it, definitely give it a go. But those are my five must-have weapons for Fallout 76 and ones that I always go back to and use when I'm swapping my builds up. But let me know down in the comments what are your go-to weapons. If you enjoyed, nuke that like button, decimate that subscribe button, stick around for more Fallout content. But for now, thanks so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one.